Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. I'm covering the Summer Wells case. Where is Summer Wells? Seven-year-old Summer Wells, missing since June 15th, 2021. Robin Lane, she speaks on Summer's birthday. I'm going to share with you a clip of Robin Lane praying with a guy named Timmy. But I want you to listen to Robin Lane's words during this prayer and then we are going to discuss check it out um it's me timmy and robin and um we just want to come to you today to, um to thank you um continue to pray for summer summer and her um family and we just um it is um about how many how many years one and a half years it's been one and a half years 599 days today Yes, and um, we're still keeping the faith, and we want to encourage you, do you guys do that too? Keep praying, keep um, seeking God in this, and um, yes, and we want to say too, happy birthday, Summer, and um, we hope you see this real soon. Amen. Love you, Summer. Hope um, cannot wait to get a hug from you, little girl. Should we say a prayer? Yes. Dear Father in heaven, we just lift up this little girl to you, Father. She's so precious. I just pray, Father, that you protect her. Put a hedge of protection around her, dear Lord. Let her feel your presence and your love in her life on this day especially. I just asked her, Father, did you bring her home soon? Please, Father, expose and reveal where she is at. Help her to come home very soon, Lord. We're not giving up, but we do have days that are harder. I just pray you give us peace through this. Help us to continue to have faith. Thank you so much for Timmy and all the Awaken, Na Awaken Nation <laughs> people who are praying, Lord. They are just such an encouragement to me especially, and I just pray you continue to bless them, Father. Help us to all have it impressed upon our hearts to continue to pray and not give up. We know that you don't give up on us, and you definitely haven't given up on Little Summer either. And I just pray, dear Father, we, we know that you know where she's at. And I just pray, Father, you bring her forward very soon. Convict hearts, Father. If someone has her, Lord, I just pray that you would convict their heart to bring her yes. to the authorities yes. and to end this suffering. Whatever might be going on, Lord, I know that she has got to be struggling in some way. And like her daddy said, that she can't be out in public. She's got to be in some kind of hiding. Lord, that's just no way to live a life. And I just I'm pray, sorry. Father, that you would help the person or people that yes. have her that they would bring her out, that you would convict their heart and you would touch their heart, Lord, to do the right thing. I just thank you so much for this precious child, Father, and she's been such a blessing to so many lives. And I just pray, Father, that you bring her home soon. Be with her mom and her dad. Be with her brothers. Reunite this family is our prayer. And I just thank you so much for all the people that are praying for her. It's just amazing. There's so much love out there for this child. Thank you for Timmy recording this little video. We pray these things in Jesus' name. And God, Lord, I want to come home before you today too, God, Lord. Um, as we lift up summer, God, Lord, we continue to speak the name of Jesus over this case, God, Lord. We are believing, Father, Lord, that you're going to do miracles after miracles after miracles, um, Lord, after we pray and stuff. And Lord, and I thank you, Father, for that in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I find that prayer very odd. And Robin Lane said some interesting things in that prayer. You know, she said about what the Father said as if what the father said was true about Summer can't go out in public. She has to be, uh, you know, out there behind the scenes. I mean, the whole prayer was about Summer being kidnapped, but no other theory about what happened to Summer Wells. You notice in that prayer, it's so like someone has Summer out there and someone knows something, um, basically believing the narrative and storyline that Don and Candace Wells is putting out there that Summer was ki uh, kidnapped. Not only that, but she's praying so Summer can be reunited with Don and Candace. And I find that appalling and sick and disgusting. I say that because most of us out there believe that Don and Candace Wells had something to do with what happened to Summer Wells. Grand as two. But Don and Candace Wells and that no way any children should be around Don and Candace Wells again. But she wants, according to that prayer, for Summer to be reunited with Don and Candace Wells. I have a problem with that. I have a problem with that entire prayer. 
it seems like she is defending Don and Candace Wells. And, you know, there you have it. So let me know what you think. She prayed on Summer's birthday, but, you know, it seems like she, some yes, Robin Lane is believing the BS that Don and Candace Wells put out there or want people to think. There's zero evidence of a kidnapping. Zero. Zero. Yet the entire prayer that you heard was centered around someone having Summer, more or less. Didn't say, hey, pray for any other theories on Summer, more or less the kidnapping. We'll talk soon. Summer is seven years old. Summer's life mattered. We are watching Don and Candace Wells, watching their moves. Don Wells has been going. And, and it's, it's, it's interesting that Robin Lane, you know, is, Summer was, is, I'll say was, Summer's seventh, or uh, Sabbath day school teacher at the Seventh Day Adventist Church. But Don Wells goes on cussing rant on YouTube. He went on another cussing rant last night. And, you know, that's not Christian-like. Like, you know, so I'm dumbfounded why Robin Lane would even want to be associated with these people that do not live <laughs> godly on a daily basis. No way. Don Wells is just Don Wells. Everyone be safe. God bless.